Okay, so we are going to go ahead and um, and look at uh, downloading Clonezilla. Okay, so we're at we can go to clonezilla.org, right? And our goal here is to be able to image computers, right? So we're going to go over capturing images remotely in this video series. So we're going to go over capturing images remotely. We're going to go over capturing them uh, uh, on a single machine. We're also going to go over sending images out over to many computers over the network and over and sending them out to one machine and just loading it on one machine and uh, and imaging a single machine. Okay, so whichever one of those you want to do, just whether you want to load it on a single machine and image another single machine or whether you're doing it with many computers, either way, we're going to go ahead and use the Clonezilla uh, server edition. Okay, so basically, let's go ahead and download that. And what we're going to do in this video is we're just going to go through how to create the um, the bootable USB itself, okay? So we're gonna click on server edition. You can do that from the side of the, um, from their uh, menu here. And then basically we wanna download this DRBL Live, okay? It has a weird, it's a, it's a different name. So it's Diskless Remote uh, Boot Linux. But this is the server edition Clonezilla. Okay, now the current edition 251, I did not have much luck with, you might, okay? But if you wanna go along with what I'm doing here, it worked great. Uh, go to the files archive on search for source forge. We're going to go to the DRBL live stable branch and then we're going to click on 247. Okay, and under 247, we're going to go ahead and select the DRBL live uh, AMD 64 ISO here. Okay, so that's what we want to download. We click on that and it's going to download. Now I have downloaded this already. Okay. Now the one on, on any Ubuntu system or you know, Debian-based Linux system, which is what most people would be using, is, uh, is we're gonna go apt, uh, so sudo apt install, and then we're gonna type USB slash dash image writer, okay? And that's gonna go ahead and install this USB image writer. Now there's a lot of different ways to do it. Okay, and it looks like on Mint we replaced it with Mint Stick. Okay, um, okay. Either way, it should be on your system. Okay, it's already installed basically. Okay, so if you search on your system, then you're going to find Image Writer. Now we can do this a couple different ways. Uh, this is just the easiest way that I've found. Okay, so image writer right here. Okay. You can also do it with disks. So you can do image writer, which we're going to use. You can do it with disks right here. Okay, disks is also easy enough. Okay, so, uh, and this is, this is in Mint, and I just didn't want to install it. Um, okay, so basically you just choose in disks, you just choose your drive, right? So this is my flash drive plugged in, and we are going to... Um, click the little gears right here and we're going to go ahead and do restore partition image okay and then we would go um, image to restore and we would go select our ISO right here okay we just restore the ISO right to the USB okay with image writer we would go search image writer after we'd installed it this be image writer we're going to write image go to our desktop select it and we're going to write to our flash drive and then we just click right, and that's it. You have to put in your um, your administrator password. Okay, and so basically it just writes it right out there to the USB. So um, once that's done, you have a bootable USB for uh, the Clonezilla Server Edition. It's easy as that. Uh, good luck.